Where's that Yehal? It's hotter, Kevin. Well, well, well. 11,000 subscribers, eh? Oh my lord. Wow. I had a gut feeling, guys. I had a gut feeling. Truly. When I started this channel, I just knew deep down in my soul, in myself, that I thought, well, there must be a lot of people out there who want to know Old English, but just don't know where to go. Now, you'd be corrected thinking that, oh, well, I, you can only learn it, for, learn it from academia. A lot of people may think that, and yes, that is true, but, you know, because of that mindset, you know, I want to, I'm trying to change that word. No, you can learn it on YouTube as well. You can learn, and, or other places on the internet. You know, if you look in a database at archive.org, you know, you could find stuff in Old English, no problem. You know, or actually, you gotta type in Old English Grammar or Old English Primer. P R I M E R, Primer. Not Primer. Yeah, Primer. Anyway, so yeah, guys, I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you who are subscribed, not subscribed, patrons, non patrons, or just viewers, you know. I mean, uh,. I can't thank you enough. Like all of you guys, have you like we've we've all kind of been together. Whether you just found me, whether you found me halfway, or you've been with me from the start, you know it, it really hits me how as the channel gets uh, bigger, uh, it has more of a. I don't know. I don't know if I'm using the right words for this, but I'll I'll give it a go. That ecosystem of YouTube, you know. Um, if you look up anything old English, you know, one of my video, videos pop up and like I feel, it feels kind of cool how I'm contributing to that. Contributing to like, you know, what's out there in the internet, you know. And it, it, it's feel, it feels fulfilling, you know, to have this channel. You know, it makes me happy to do what I do and whatnot. But there are a few things I want to talk about. And uh, for those of you who've been with me long enough, they know that when I make celebration videos like this, they're usually long. Because, you know, it's a celebration, right? It's a chance for you, for you as the viewer, to, to see the personality behind the videos, okay? So, there are a few things I want to go over, you know? And, um, is that everyone has a purpose. Truly. I, I, I mean that, you know? Uh, we know this uh, from the Sanskrit, Sva Dharma. Meaning one's own purpose, one's own talents and whatnot, and and uh, what you like naturally and what you're good at and you know, try to fuse the two together and whatnot and uh, yeah I like history and yeah I like languages ah oh, historical languages yeah and uh, that's my um, that's for me that's my Svadharma you know that I'm, I happen to be very good at it uh, you know you, you can surprise yourself you know and uh, the, the problem with a lot of people is that they don't go outside of their bu a bubble or outside of their comfort zone because if you never leave the comfort zone you don't go anywhere you know you don't want to be uh, you know on your deathbed thinking if only I had the courage if only if I had if I wasn't so shy if only I just if only if I just did that you don't want to be in that situation okay you don't want to be you know give it a try because if you don't try you won't know and if you try, well, at least now I know, you know, and I thought, you know what, with this channel, I thought, I'm going to give it my all, I'm going to give it my, my intellect, my, my emotions, everything, you know, and, and through all that, and you guys can see that, I'm very creative with the content I put out, I'm, um, you know, some of it's intellectual, some of it's uh, more emotional, some of it's, uh, you know, like songs and whatnot, some of it's very spiritual and whatnot. Like, I'm trying to encompass uh, um, the human experience in Old English, if that makes sense. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to have some notes here. I want to keep going. You know, I've had people in the beginning, uh, you know, kind of put me down or whatever, and, and but that didn't stop me. Because I knew deep down a lot of people want to know this. There are people in the world who have an interest, you know, like I've, a lot of people, I just, you know, it's just a gut feeling for me that just to know that, you know, people ha probably have thought about where their own language comes from. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people who speak English 
probably have wondered one time ago or, or, or something that, oh, where does English come from? And well, here's a channel all about learning um, not so much the history of English, rather rather just old English, you know, the way it was uh, like about a thousand or fifteen hundred years ago, something like that. Anyway, um, but no matter what people said or what have you, I kept on going and look where I am now, you know, and uh, the thing is, I want to say is that if somebody says something negative about you and you're doing something good, for example, and they're saying something negative but they don't give in any specifics, chances are that person is jealous of you. Because no one will ever admit, I'm jealous of that person, because that's, you know, because uh, thing is a lot of people, they, they live in ego. What, what do I mean by that? They live with the mindset of me, 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 my way, you know, and, and not devotion towards you, 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 your way. Oh, that person did a good job, good for him. You know, that's a way of showing, you know, uh, devotion, humility, okay? Now, moving on. Now, the thing is with, you know, there's the saying of the proverb of success breeds jealousy. Uh, but I would add on, yeah, su success breeds jealousy for losers. However, inspiration for future winners. For example, let's say uh, you're in school and someone in, in your class gets 100% on the test, a plus or whatever, and you know the, the response could be, oh, uh, that 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 person, oh, how dare he get a higher grade than me, Urgh. or you think, oh wow, that person's got a hundred percent. Hey, maybe maybe I should study with him. Maybe maybe we can learn from each other. You know, uh, there's another proverb. It's not what happens to you, it's how you react. Attitude, ladies and gentlemen, attitude. You know, if you have a negative attitude, you won't uh, get very far. But if you have a positive ab attitude where, uh, you know, the sun will always rise the next day, the glass is always half full, you know, you, you can get somewhere. But if you're always negative all the time, that's not, that's not going to help you or, or help anyone. Okay? So, let's move on now. Okay. And, uh, you know, really believe in yourself. Believe, you know, you're able to do, do things. Because the thing is, a lot of people... Especially when it comes to trying out new things, or, or uh, talking to new people, or what have you, or we all tend to put ourselves down. Oh, it's too hard. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to embarrass myself, and whatnot. And, but that's how we learn and grow, by going outside of our uh, of our comfort zone. And not only that, you know, like, and and uh, believe in other people, you know, you know. But there, but it's sad though, because um, you have. People that, uh, for example, let's say you, you tell like a person, hey, I got this project, you know, I'm really proud about it, and whatnot, and the response is uh, from a particular person, oh, uh, yeah, you're, you're not going to get anywhere, don't do it, man, hey, let's go watch a film. Let's go watch a film? You're not going to get anywhere? Are you kidding me? Those kinds of people are not worth your time. You know, um, you know, if someone, you know, is really, truly there for you, truly you know, wants the best for you, you know, they, they would talk to you about it, they would support you. Um, at, at sure, at times it would be more realistic because thing is, we all come up with ideas, but until we say to someone else, then we realize, oh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea to begin with. But, but the thing is, with something truly positive, truly good, and, uh, you know, someone, you know, someone else acknowledges that uh, and thinks, oh, wow, you know, yeah, keep going. That's your talent, man. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You know, I support you, man. You know, I hope I'm making sense, all right? You know, and uh, because thing is, why am I speaking all about this stuff? Because thing is, you know, I want this channel to be a positive place, a positive place for learning, growing, and whatnot. I don't swear in my uh, videos because I don't like bad words. Um, however, because thing is, speech is very important. All right, one's speech, one's messages, one's messages or just words are very important. I mean, the ancient peoples they knew they they, they knew very well of this. Yeah, uh, in the Sanskrit, uh, in the Vedic, you have a goddess dedicated to speech called Vak Devi, and Vak is cognate to Latin vox, voice, vocals in English, uh, cognate to here we go, here we go, umi, 
it, the Old Norse name for sound, but it's also a name of Odin. What's the cognate for Old English? Woma, meaning sound and whatnot. Or if you will, in the, well, the, in the Germanic context with Omi, that's like kind of a personification of the wind and how the wind makes sound and whatnot, hence uh, Woden, uh, Odin, Odin. Anyway, yeah. But speech is, it, it, like anything else, it's like a tool. You know, I know I'm, I'm, I'm uh, paraphrasing Sri Dharma Pravar, Pravataka Acharya uh, here, um, that, you know, speech, we can use it for three things. What? Uh, we can use it for neutral things. Oh, well, what did I do today? Oh, I, I, I went to school. Da, 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 da. Or, you know, for bad things to put someone down. Or you could use your speech to create positive change in the world, to inspire someone, to, uh, to have someone else really believe in themselves and have them succeed and, and make positive changes in the world. We can all do this. You know? We, we can. You know, and the hardest thing for human beings, the hardest thing for human beings to do is to control this. You know, once we have this under control, you know, we can unlock our potentials and our talents and our, you know, getting along with people and whatnot. But a lot of people, they don't control this and they say uh, things they don't really mean or they do things they don't really mean, and you know, they get all this confusion, all this unniceness, if you will. So once you can control this, you know, things get better. Even Lord Krishna, or Bhagavan Krishna, says to Arjuna, control the mind, make the mind your friend, and whatnot. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is a way for me to say thank you to all of you, and to reveal the way I think. So when you watch my videos or what have you, you can, you know, ref ref uh, have this video in the back of your mind and like, oh wait, this guy is, is oh, okay, it all makes sense now because he thinks this, ah, okay, mm, okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Take care.